Start by selecting each of the size options. Start with Curdo, click on Add Trigger, and choose Tap. Repeat the same process for the other size options, Medium and Venti. Now we want to add responses, basically what happens after you tap. When Curdo is tapped, let's create a border response. We want to set the border opacity of the Curdo group to 100, making the border visible. At the same time, add two more responses to set the border opacity of the medium and venti groups to zero, deselecting them. Do the same for medium. When medium is tapped, add a border response to set its border opacity to 100, and two more responses to set the border of curdo and venti to zero. For venti, add a border response and set border opacity to 100 when tapped, and add two more responses to set the border opacity of curdo and medium to zero. Now you might be asking, why do we set the opacity of the other options to zero, since the default opacity is already zero? Imagine you are previewing the design. If you tap medium, it will become visible. However, if you tap on curdo next and don't explicitly set the opacity of medium to zero, the medium selection would still be visible, even though you want only one size to be selected at a time. That's why we explicitly set the opacity of the other options to zero when one is tapped. Now, let's add interactivity for the topping options, whipped cream and ice. These are a little different because users can select both at the same time and also unselect them. Add a tap trigger for each of these options, one for whipped cream and one for ice. Starting with whipped cream selected, add trigger and choose tap. When whipped cream is tapped, set the border opacity of the whipped cream card to 100, making the border visible. When ice is tapped, set the border opacity of the ice card to 100 as well. If you tap whipped cream and its border opacity goes to 100, what happens if you tap again? We want users to be able to toggle whipped cream on and off. To do this, we need to add a condition. Go to add response, select condition, and set the condition to check if the whipped cream card is already selected, i.e. if its border opacity is 100. If it's selected, tapping again will set the border opacity back to zero unselecting it. Do the same for ice. When ice is tapped and its border opacity goes to 100, tapping again will set the opacity to zero, unselecting ice.